Hello, for my examining editor project, I decided to do it on Paul Macklis. So his most notable works as an editor would be his work on Baby Driver in 2017, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World in 2010, Last Night in Soho 2021. But he has worked on, I, th I believe, 8 to 10 films and almost over 40 different TV shows. Uh, his awards, he was nominated for an Oscar in 2018 for his work on editing Baby Driver. He was the winner of the uh, BAFTA, or B-A-F-T-A Awards, for his work on editing Baby Driver as well. He was the nominee for the Gold Derby Awards in 2018 for Baby Driver and in 2011 for Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. And in 2020, he was nominated for Best Film Editing of the Decade for the Gold Derby Awards on his work for Baby Driver. His life story, uh, Paul Macklis was born in Victoria, Australia, went to school and graduated from Brighton Secondary College. He started getting into the film industry by working on a small comedy series in Australia. Um, after that, Macklis got a new job as a videotape librarian and operator. At this job, he used the uh, companies like Private Editing Bay to teach himself how to edit. There, he started his freelance career editing. Um, it's when he started doing smaller TV shows. And um, as he like improved his editing, he went to get bigger and better jobs, which led to his big break into feature films. And that's when he was hired to work on Scott Pilgrim, which sort of launched his career into working on huge stuff like Baby Driver. Uh, these are some of the best examples of his work. I chose a one minute sequence out of this whole thing. And it basically starts when the car starts reversing out from the bank robbery heist. Now, one thing to keep in mind through this scene and one thing to keep in mind for the whole film and all of Edgar Wright's films is essentially it is cut to music. So there's already a metronome based into all the cutting. Which I think is a really good way to keep everything as a steady pace. And I think that's something to keep in mind for your films whenever you do it, is either have a temp track or have some sort of tempo in mind whenever you go into shooting or editing your films. So with this, it goes to the beat of this song. Bell bottom. And what I really like about it is that it's not only cut to the beat, but it's also all of the movements, actions, and reactions are cut to the beat. So everything from like a car tail ending another car. <laughs> to uh, someone turning their head is all cut to the rhythm of the beat. That's something to keep in mind when you watch the whole film because it happens the whole way through and I notice it so many more times when watching this opening sequence. The reason I chose this clip is because I really liked how it went into um, editing to the beat of music and our first assignment in this class was editing music video and learning how to edit to the beat of a music and like how it's, it's very satisfying to the viewer. Like, hearing something and watching something shift towards that. And I think that Paul really like captured like the satisfaction of that. Like, the, like everyone, when you talk about baby driver, you talk about that car, sh that car chase in the beginning, because it is so satisfying to watch. And I think it's because like the music is such a key part of the film and transitioning with the music is, is it's like, it's, the bread and butter it's like the it's what makes you want to watch that movie over and over again and so next i'm going to play this other clip from scott pilgrim for an example of good editing weren't you supposed to take your fake high school girlfriend to the library a half hour ago what it's like six in the morning Libraries remind me of boarding school. That must seem like a really long time ago. Yeah, let's talk about something else. Played one note for that entire song. The reason I chose this clip was.
because I really liked the Paul's use of like the the visual transitions from the beginning. He opens the door, like don't you have to be at the library? The light floods in and it transitions into the library. Like it's got comedy to it, and it's like it, it just looks really satisfying. And then again, we see that Paul is using the music and he's cutting to the music again more subtly this time. It's not the focal point of the 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 shot or the scene because you're obviously you're watching Scott look at Ramona, but it's it's like very subtle and it's like satisfying. You don't even realize you're watching it unless you have you're like looking for it. And then it cuts back to like really close up on Scott. We have the other character come in and then it cuts back to where they actually are to show a jump of time without actually needing to show what happened in between. You know that like he was lost all day thinking about that girl. And I just think that it, it's like very brilliantly done. And so that leads us to the end. It's uh, Paul Macklis right here. And uh, thank you.